Let's take a look at this concept of Google authorship and how you can set it up. So, let's say you have someone who is mm. trying to learn about how to improve their position on Google Maps. They go to Google and type, how to jump ahead on Google Maps. Here are the results. Now, pop quiz hotshot. Which results are they going to choose first? That's right, number one, the one with the photo. This is the simple but highly effective power of Google authorship, which is managed via Google+. It's just like reading a newspaper. As you flick through the pages, which stories are you most likely to read? The ones with the photo and a quick byline telling you what it's about. It's no longer necessary to fight for the number one spot on the ranking, because with authorship, the eye is drawn to your first post anyway. It has a massive impact on click-through rates. Even better, if the user spends over two minutes on your page, when they come back to the search results, a whole list of your other authored posts now appear below the original result, encouraging them to interact with you further. To set up authorship, you need to do a couple of things. Firstly, on the blog post, you need to add a link to your Google Plus account, probably in the bio part. Here's a tip. You often need to add this to the end of your Google Plus URL. Next, go to your Google Plus account and in the About section, add the link to the site of your post under Contributor To. Now, to test if we've done it right, you simply head over to Google's Rich Snippet Testing tool page and plug in your URL. This will tell you whether authorship has been established correctly or not. That's it. So just remember, if you write it, be sure to put your name on it.